Before I begin, my microphone has let me down. Apologies for the poor audio. However, I didn't want to re-record the video and be disingenuous. With that in mind, let's get started. Now, I've alluded to Wanda's spice rack. No euphemisms here. And Hello again and welcome back, jiggling with the bottles already, to Scott Wonders World, that ugly one is back, with another one of his bullshit beer reviews, fat man sits in the shed talking about the two beers, he's currently drinking four spun pork cake and all that, gobbins, and it's beer battle time, we all love a beer battle, don't we, can't beat a beer battle. Hello, Hugo, how are you? Now, my mum was German, half German, makes me quarter German. She had a German shepherd dog. I am allowed, by law, where's I yeah. um, to review German beers. Now, recently it's been the Oktoberfest um, time, the lovely beer food a general press up festival that's in Germany to celebrate. Mark, what Potter and Man's gonna tell me because I could never remember. The whatever it celebrates. King, somebody or other, Prince, somebody or other, get married, I think it was. Really should do a little bit more research into this sort of stuff, in all honesty. So, <laughs> during the time, there's a, the little box. Controversial. Version because I can't get that bloody thing in. The little box da, 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 of fest beers that contained uh, all, all over the show here. Look, contained the Schneider Weiss fest beer, which I thought was absolutely tremendous. It was really, really good. Um, we've had the Paul Lana. Uh, uh, October fest beer. Um, we've had all sorts, but in Aldi they had the Erdinger Oktoberfest. If you can't call itself properly Oktoberfest for a myriad of reasons, I still really don't know the answer to. And the, the wise and wherefores. Are. And then you've got normal Erdinger. Now I've done normal Erdinger not long ago. I did the Vice beer, October Vi uh, Fest Vice beer, not long, not long ago as well. Went into my Aldi today and they've restocked. But they've not just restocked the Erdinger, they've also restocked the Paulana as well. Picked a couple of them up, bingo. So I thought, do you know what? Why don't we do, this is chilled down, this is chilled down. Why don't we do a beer battle? Now I made the statement in the video along the lines of, this wipes the floor with that. So we're gonna put it to the test. Um, see if the vi the Oktoberfest <laughs> Oktoberfest version of the Erdinger really is that much better than the normal one. I find out. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, normal Erdinger, um, widely available in a lot of supermarkets in Great Britain, comes in at ABV wise. I should have brought the glasses. I'm sure it's on the back somewhere. So 50. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, for fuck's sake. 5.3% ABV. I say it's widely available in Tesco, um, the co op. They actually keep them they're a bit more expensive in the co op, but they're cold. Um, all sorts of places. And then you've got the Erdinger Oktoberfest beer, which comes in slightly higher. I do believe. Around 5.7, so it's 0.4 of a percent better. A better percent beer by 0.4 percent. Gonna make all the difference. Do the same bottle cap. Uh, 1.99, still in Aldi if you can pick it up. About £2.20, something like that, in the various supermarkets of the greatest of Britain. Now, I bought a prop. 
I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I've got my two Vice Blood glasses. I've got one actual Erdinger glass, and I've got a Schneider Weiss glass. I'm going to put the original Erdinger in my Schneider Weiss glass. Throw that in. We're not going to need it. Let's see if we can get a knobhead pour, or we can get a decent pour very slowly, 45 degree angle. Let's see if we can get a nice pour. Absolutely love. Uh, Hefeweiss, Hefeweizen, uh, Weiss beer, whatever you want to call it, become a go-to style this year. I've gone on and on about it. Benjamin will be knocking up the um, the tally. Should we call Scott's Voice beer channel at this fucking rate? Give it a swirl. That's a pretty decent ball. Get all the yeasty goodness in. So that is the normal wording. And in this wording of glass, we're going to put the October Fest voice. Let's see if we can fuck this one up. Now, I made the, the claim of that um, this Fest voice is light years ahead of the normal one. So I thought, you know what, I can get hold of this one again. It, obviously, Erding is widely available. Let's actually see if that stands up in the court of Scott. Bolt Dunce is about to erupt. Skew fingers. Give that one a wriggle. Obviously, as is with all voice beer, huge, huge head and carbonation, which I absolutely love, to be fair. So Boris Johnson on both heads, look, here we go. Get a flake. Bosh, you're welcome. So we'll put them there. It matches what side we're on. In the glass. Huge amounts of carbonation. I'm hoping you can see that. I can't see you. You can, you can see me. Huge carbonation rushing away, both those glasses. Huge head on the top. One on the left's gone slightly lopsided. But that looks nice. I'm going to say. Obviously, they're slightly different shaped glasses. I do appreciate that. In this light. The Fest voice is slightly lighter, it's slightly darker on the original Schneider voice, this one here, on your left to my right. But there's not a lot on it, and obviously a huge dome of a head on both of them. Now, I've alluded to Wanda's spice rack, no euphemisms here, and the fact that I don't go around sniffing it, so I don't actually know what coriander smells like. I've been on the spice rack. I've brought it in with me. No more fucking about. Let's do this. So the actual Erdinger. Huge carbonation. Rushing away in that glass. I'm hoping you can see that. It looks absolutely fantastic. So a three, four finger of Blumond right hand that isn't going anywhere. Excuse fingers. Very weak forward, unlike um, uh, Francis Carla and Schneider Weiss and those sort of uh, uh, Weissens. But you get that banana clove, you get like, um, a very nice citrus aroma comes out of this as well. Sort of lemony. It smells nice. Uh, the What's this one? Erdinger Vice Beer Oktoberfest. Again, rushing carbonation away. It is, a, it is a, a shade lighter. It is a shade. Or maybe just the style of, slight difference in the style of glass. But I'd say that's slightly thinner than the actual Schneider. Not Schneider, Erdinger. Probably uh, Schneider. Um, Erdinger. Sorry, 
I bet I've been saying fucking Schneider eyes all the way through this, haven't I? I have to go back and watch it now. Erdinger. Bloody Erdinger. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Slightly more fruity. Slightly more fruity than the actual Erdinger. But you get that um, banana, you get the clove. Fruity, and there is a spice on both of them. Aroma wise, it's not much in it. Let's go for the taste, and then we'll see what the body feels like, the flavours, and all that sort of stuff. No professional here. Um, it's really nice. It is entry level. It's an entry level um, vice beer. It's not the best, but what it is, it is eminently quaffable. So you do get that. It's a very weak forward beer, but you get that that sort of banana. That's Donald back. You get some citrus. Um, you get some of that spicy back end, but it, it's not amazing. Let's go for the uh, Erdinger vi uh, fest voice. Cape of back and thing, or oh, whatever it's called. Excuse, cheers. Carbonation's a little bit different as well. Similar body, actually. It's not. It is fruitier. Someone said apricot. You've never had a fucking apricot, would no. Um, there is a there is a, a slightly more fruity flavour to the the Erdinger. Um, Oktoberfest beer. Um, the body wise, actually, it's slightly more fuller bodied. When I say full body, it's not obviously not full body, but there is more body to the Erdinger voice beer than there is to the Oktoberfest voice beer. And I think that actually shows slightly in, in the in the glass. It's not huge but it there is a difference to it. So my my video saying it blows Erding out of the water. A bit disingenuous, isn't it? That's fruitier. There is, there is less body to it. The ABV is a, a marginal anyway, so you're not really going to see the ABV. Then you do get the the spice, and the coriander. Um, is there a huge difference between them? I don't think there is. I don't think it's, I don't think it's huge. So slightly more carbonation in the Erdinger than in the, the Oktoberfest one. That's very wheat forward, as is the Oktoberfest one, but what the Oktoberfest has, it has more 
fruit. There's more going on in it, flavor-wise. It's not massive by any stretch of the imagination, but there's a touch more going on. But where that's got more going on flavor-wise, that's got more actually going on in the body, which I didn't think would actually be true. Oh. Um, so yeah, uh, for me, I'm gonna call it a draw. I don't think, they, they've both got decent parts to them. Um, that's got more flavor, that's got a nicer body. That's got a slight prickle of carbonation, which I actually quite like. That hasn't got that. It's very soft in the mouth, easy to drink. Um, but yeah, very close. Obviously, I think Erding, I think all they make is vice beer. I think that's, I think that's correct. Somebody will point me if I'm wrong. Um, but there's, it's, it's marginal. It really is marginal on the actual uh, flavours. And obviously the quality of the beer, being German, is always going to be good. Um, so there's no, there's no sort of fucking around with the quality of it. Um, do I have a preference? If I was going to have a preference, I'd probably go for the, the Oktoberfest, simply because there's a little bit more, more going on in it. Um, I'm going to give them both a thumbs up, because not either one's going to win, but there's more going on flavour-wise with the, 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 the Oktoberfest Erdinger than the normal Erdinger, which would be, I'd be happy to buy. And I've had a few of these, I've picked a few of these, not, not tonight, these are the first two. It's about half uh, past five, we're safe. Um, so I've had a couple, of, I've had a few, about four or five of these, picked them up when I go into Aldi. Um, whereas I've probably had no more than three or four bottles of that in my lifetime. Um, so there's more going on with that than there's in that, but the body is is slightly better for the um, the original than for the October Fest bit. Um, if you've had both these beers, then let me know. If you've sniffed your wife's coriander jar, then let me know. If you go, just, you know, you've got to pick the essentials. Do you have any cloves? So I couldn't pick that out. I would have had that otherwise. Now, there is a nice spiciness on both beers. But I think, I don't think either of them come close to that Schneider Weiss uh, Fest beer. I think that was tremendous. Um, these are very, these are decent beers, but they're not the best in that range of beer style, if you like. Um, yeah, if you've had both these beers, um, have you compared them? Let me know what you think of them. Um, I'm going to nudge it. And it is a nudge just to the to the Oktoberfest, just because it's slightly more um, drinkable and there's slightly more flavour. Doesn't make Erdinger a bad beer. It's just that one's slightly better, better body on that one. Though. Um, let me know what you think of the, um, uh, these two beers. Have you tried them both? Let's know in the comments. What's your favourite? Let's know in the comments. Leave a comment down below if you want to do another, want me to do another beer battle. Um, all that sort of bollocks. There's a thumbs up. If you like the video, there's a thumbs down. If you don't, there's a subscribe button over there somewhere. And me and Wally will see you soon.